back is strong, my heart is free of wrong. My sword is sharp, my shield and bell, my pride will waver not. I face my foe, I labor low, I fight the should fall and walk no more. I shall not shed a tear. But war is cruel, my comrades die, and I go on alone. I will not stop to ask them why I know I can't go home I face my foe I lay them low I fight them without fear If I should fall and walk no more I shall My arm is rent, my blood is on the field. My sword is gone, my body spent, I lie upon my shield. I face my foe, they laid me low, but my foe, I labor low. Hello, hello, I'm a couple of minutes early, uh, I couldn't be bothered to hang about, uh, to be honest, um, hi Dolly, how you doing? Um, yeah, I've, I've had a really pretty shit afternoon, so I thought I'd be, I thought I'd come in, because I know doing this cheers me up a lot. Um, so I was watching someone stream this afternoon, and I, <laughs> fucking hell, it was so toxic. Uh, it was the most toxic, something, the most toxic thing I've ever seen. Uh, it was really bad. Um, so for those who know, like with my like military history and stuff like that, I'm very proud of what I've done. Um, and having an entire chat rammed on you and call you a um, a war criminal. Yeah, not fun. And 
having the people running the stream not say or do anything and having the mods not say or do anything really not fun so so that's been my afternoon but now I'm here we're gonna chill and we're gonna see what people want to uh, getting up to for the year where their goals are yeah yeah I, I was having quite a few arguments in chat um, but yeah nothing was done so I've lost a lot of respect for people let's put it that way um, but yeah so uh, yeah I, th I thought we'd we'd come in and we'd stinky rum get on the run yes I fucking wish mate <laughs> <laughs> I really do wish. Thanks to um, Al and Pete. That's two subs tonight. Thank you very much for that. Um, I couldn't be asked with a green screen. Really couldn't be bothered with it. So um, I've moved, like I said last time, I've moved things around. So you've got bits of, of stuff more on display. So you've got our um, hall sigil behind me there you've got Helen's amazing bit of art um, that was done for her which was incredible yes there, there is uh, there is a Yeti too so there is a Bob there's loads of Eeyores uh, thanks to Abby um, there is my so we have uh so Eeyore, Eeyore, we got the, um, we have the party potato, we got some, uh, well, we got Deadpool and a couple of Dallas Cowboy bits as well. You've got my drinking thing from the Sami tribe, so I got that on my honeymoon. Um, we've got the bell that Dolly got me that he wanted to uh, have them replace my testicle with um, which is great um, you have we have the there's a card back there that says hello handsome that's from Helen on the on, on our wedding day and yeah we have the uh, God of War Ragnarok Mjolnir as well um, that Panda actually sub um, she sat down and repainted it all so there's loads yeah and there's little mini 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 mac over there as well so it's all very very cool i do i thought this is something i'd like to see um obviously if i get any more if i get any bits of art then things can go up on walls or get any bits then it can all go in a place. It can all be stored nicely, which would be very cool. Um, yeah, so it's been so it's been quite chill. Um, what else have we got going on? Um, so yeah, um, my chat with Mister Bolam that I did um, last Monday has been my most downvoted YouTube video ever. It's mental. I don't understand. I don't understand why. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's really weird. But there you go. There it is. It's uh, it's done. But at the moment, it's on. Yeah, but we didn't say anything. If we said stuff that was controversial or would rile people up, I could understand it. But we didn't. So I, I just yeah I don't know why, but yeah that that was that's currently sat on thirty, thirty seven down votes, which is insane, and I get it. Um, it must be the beard, it must be the beard. But there we go. So that's that's made me chuckle. Um, what else? Um, I've had oh I've had feedback from PD. So when we were talking about the weapon failing weapons check because of the grip, um, it can't fail. 
if the grip is too hard, it can't fail because you're holding it. So if you, if, if you have a Epic Armory's weapon, for example, and it fails because of the, the grip's too hard, it can't fail because of that. So um, I got the email response. So, and that was from Mike, Mark, Michael Mark, can't remember. Um, but the head of weapons check, basically. So he said that, and I've just said thanks, and if I've got any other questions, I'll ping him a message. So yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, I have got Claire, Emma, maybe one other from Conduct coming on stream. So we're going to go through all the Conduct, and we're going to have chats and ask questions, because it will just be worth having it, because not everybody knows all the rules. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, I've gone about. I've, I've gone and done something the wrong way round, but that's fine too, because I'm interested. Um, I today told PD that I'd be interested in becoming an egregore because I think. Um, Hey, Crab Lord, just finished work, glad I caught this in time. Yeah, me too. It's good to have you here. Uh, Dawn, what have I missed? I literally went to get squash. Uh, I can't remember anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, Zara, how you doing? How's the tiaras coming along? Yeah. So, I've asked them about um, potentially becoming an egregore. To help out people because that's what I enjoy doing so I know it means I won't be able to play really anymore but I think it boils down to what you're what you have fun doing and I would have fun doing it it's not going to be next event obviously because I think all the egregore positions are filled but it will be nice for them to have a to have a wee chat and uh, potentially help some people out um, <laughs> the man himself uh, yeah so as I say I've got no clue um, why that all happened but it's there and it's done and we can just see everything as it goes um, any specific nation or just gunning for any I don't know I don't know to be honest it's a good question um Navarre because I know Navarre um and I think uh, yeah I know Navarre so that would be good uh Wintermark would be fun too but I, th I think I, I think any I think any of them would be good. Uh, it'd just be nice to be able to help out and, like new players get involved in stuff, and I think it would just be quite interesting to do, you know. Um, let like Jeff Copeland back in. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, twenty-seven downvotes. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see Hefty and Dawn or Highguard. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'd happily do do both. Um. Memento Mori, hello mate, how you doing? Good to see you, I hope all are well. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better now I've started the stream, that's for sure. Um, Grud who drinks the new Orc Egregore, that'll be good, that'd be so funny. Yeah, have you seen that Egregore? He's just drunk all the time, we don't understand it. So, I, th I think there's, there'll be a lot of fun there to be had. Um... It was funny enough. The I was I spent the weekend. Um, I spent Saturday making homebrew, making the cider with Kit. Um, oh, I'm so thirsty. Grud who glugs. Oh, Matt, I miss your face. That's all. Grud who glugs, and I do glugs. Um, so I was making homebrew on Saturday with Kit, and funny enough, what we're talking about, what I'm going to get, we'll get, have a look at here, 
was literally brought up by Kit. Because we were just sat there chatting shit and he just said, what are your goals? Oh. Um, what are your goals for Empire? Where do you want to be? What do you want to do now? And it's like, I've done so much. I've done so much. So it will be nice to be able to sit back and do things to help other people now. So potentially, yeah, Egregore would be a lot of fun. But if I had to stay as Cal, I think th this is where chat tell me your goals as well. Because it will be nice to hear that people have ideas and stuff like that. Um, but it would be nice to, I mean, potentially general again. I think that could be a lot of fun. Because I have a lot of ideas. Um, and everything I do gets people involved in game. So I don't think I've got a single bit of game where um, it's just me. And I'm just running it on my own. Everything I am doing involves other people, which is wonderful. It it genuinely is so nice to have. Because I know that when it, when it comes down to when it comes to LARP, when it, LARP especially when it comes to Empire as well, um, it's about having the confidence and being able to bullshit your way through stuff. If you are able to say things in a very confident manner, regardless of whether it's true, a half-truth, a full-on lie, or anything like that, people will just buy it. And I'm great at doing that in-game. Not so much out of game, I'm a really shit liar. Um, I have no hard skills in social, hence I crew. But that doesn't mean that you have no like hard skills in social you I, I mean from your own admission you have kept is it conclave you've kept conclave under um like under like eight hours <laughs> running time so you do you you do have the hard skills there zara so yeah don't don't give me that i know you do hey rich how you doing mate um, I've started talking to someone about helping new players I see. I'm so sorry about it. Well, if I can help in any way, just let me know. I mean, I'm always happy to do this. Because I think these are the sorts of things that... When new players turn up to the game, they really... It, it, it's very difficult to, to, to do that first step. Good thing I hope everyone is well. It's The first step is always the difficult one. So being able to have a way of just essentially bypassing that first half hour in game, I think. So it's why I always say to people, like, go off and walk into the field. Start by God. Walk into a nation. Ask where your own nation is, even though you know. Walk into... Um, when you get to your nation, walk to the other part of the field and ask where your, that hall is. Because they'll all point you in the right... All, point you around and you'll talk to loads of people then so i think there's a lot of stuff there um and that's the sort of thing that i want to do not just like directions but actually point people in and help them get involved in game and so like, oh, because i think that'll be a, that'll be a lot of fun for me um i'm gonna start running for a hat in dawn at e3 not a major one but i'm gonna try and see what happens oh which one which one are you thinking of going for <laughs> I have three goals for when I start. Just the three. Uh, the Castellana Spiral Castle. That's cool. One, find what I like. Two, find who I like. Three, eat an Eternal to consume their power. Pretty simple. But yeah, that's really cool. That's very, very cool. Um, yeah, eating an Eternal. That'd be a lot of fun, that. I'd enjoy that. Um, definitely is a goal. Sounds legit. That's so cool. Um, 
Castellan of Spiral Castle. I don't know what that what that hat is. Is it a sinecure? Or something? Uh, I really want to get my head into trading more. We're missing E3, but E4, our little group, is going from 3 to 9. Because uh, it was my idea of coming, I felt responsible to try and help my two friends get their feet under the table in areas they wanted. Yeah, but you, you can help other people and you can also do stuff for yourself. So, if you want to get involved in trading, come find me. Because me and Gallen, um, we had this idea literally for new players. So, we want to form this little, I say it's little, this group um, of traders who do all the little deals. So, it's not going to be... Um, so it's not going to be one where uh, you'll get a boar seat immediately out of it. It's going to be the little ones where you're making a couple of thrones and stuff like that. So really little deals. But we want to get a group of people together who do all of this sort of stuff. And we can say to them, like, here, have like 30 resources, go off, do this trading. We need this, this and this. Um, anything you make over this, you get to keep basically and stuff like that so we want to do that so yeah um yeah pretty much so yeah come and have a come and have a natter and and you can you can do that it gives you one free resupply to an army in a territory around the one it's in oh, okay so you decide um that's cool can you ever make a hat yes uh i have essentially paid for two last event um so, so I just saw a moth flying around, and I was wondering where it's gone. So yeah, you get to you can do stuff like that. So there is um, the Hunter's Lodge in Wintermark, where uh, I don't know what the the hat is, but it gives you that. Um, so you get to get involved in that. So I helped get them the money for that, which has been really cool then um there was another one which i gave 15 wanes uh weirwood for which was fantastic but yeah you if you get this stuff and you pay for these things to get built it essentially creates a hat uh some of them are only voted for with um uh, by like people who have got military units or something like that so the whole nation will vote for it uh, some of them that go through will, are picked by the senators as well so um, it does take a a, go a goof amount of resource oh, yeah we'll go with that a goof amount of resources yeah definitely lots of chances to do so easiest probably is building a sinecure that makes a new imperial title and gives someone an income yeah, so I, this season, am paying for the Bone Hives. Um, so that gives me a lot of potions, well, drugs and herbs. So there'll be a lot of stuff uh, there as well. Um, so these are all things that you can work towards as well. And the things, we know you accept bribes, Bolum. You don't need to even hashtag that one. I thought it was a given. Um... Uh, came into a hat at the end of last event, so I need to get planning on what I need to know and do for that. But I also want to do more singing. Just singing, practicing my songs, maybe have family time. Who got high barred last event? So I know that was up, but I don't know who got it. Um, we want to get, at our pub, we want to get more people um, performing around us. So, if anybody wants to come and sing or perform at a pub, then yeah, feel free. Um, yeah, come come and let us know, because we will happily... Uh, no character, no idea. Cool. Um, oh, loads of stuff. An orc got high barred. Um, oh, Dawn's going to DM me. So, yeah, so there's, gonna, there's lots of stuff. Uh, going on the uh, thing for me at E3, I want to throw out as many lines as I can for hunting down lost artifacts. We'll try and get into a skirmish, mayhap, also running a lottery. Ooh, there's a lot of that going on. 
Um, that'd be interesting. But yeah, artifacts, I can help with that as well because I know a lot of people who have got one. <laughs> so uh, my son is bringing a group of six or seven of his friends and starting their own hall. For me, I'll be trying to be in the right place to take great photos and also be in the right place to take part in all our hall shenanigans. Well, yes, yes. I mean, you are a very welcome member of our hall and you've already got a good eye for photos. So we know that you'll be doing, that you'll do a great job. So, um, oh, let's have a quick look. Ah, okie dokie. Uh, Protectorate Ryle, one high bard. Awesome. Um, that's cool. Uh, very unassuming, will walk into a room and completely captivate anyone. I don't know who they are, I'll have to find them. Um, man, uh, I used an artifact over downtime, apparently it did nothing. I used a artifact as my very first character, and it was massively OP. This is why P. This is when PD were trying to figure out all the rules for it of what they can do, what they can't do. So they have been massively toned down, literally from a level up here all the way through the floor now. So the one I had was a hammer. Essentially, they had Mjolnir, pretty much. Um, it was a one-handed hammer that ha that for one skirmish, a skirmish only, not for a main battle, uh, had unlimited strike downs. It was insane. It was absolutely crazy. I had to have a ref walk around with me for the whole skirmish. Because I was hitting every every time I hit anybody with it. Um, what's wrong? If that's fuck, I, yeah. I refer you to the statement above, Crab Lord. It's fucking broken. It was absolutely broken. Um, it was absolutely criminal. So I was literally walking around with um, so I had a mace, another mace. No, I had an axe. And this hammer, and I was literally just walking around going strike down, strike down on everything that moved. It was crazy. It shouldn't have been allowed in. Um, and the ref said to me, I, I remember the ref specifically said to me after that skirmish, he said, um, Don't get used to that hammer because after si they wanted to know what happened in the skirmish that it was used in, um, that will get nerfed immediately. I said that that hammer will not exist after this event. So you're like, okay. And it was it was absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh I made a painting of Broccoli Land uh, I see within an ancient paint paintbrush of Terunial. And it did nothing. Ooh, I'm not sure it's gonna do nothing. They emailed me. Nothing. Ah, have you still got the painting? Because I think I will at E three. Okay, it might have it might have some sort of effect on it. A PD giving you a painting, are they then? Um, it might have a ribbon on it. You might find that there is something there for you. I don't know. No, I might ah. Uh... Oh, that sucks. Are you going to be... Um, it's, it's an interesting one. I, I would have hoped they would do more with it. Because I, I know that... Um, it was a commission. It has three characters in it. Ah. Well, if they don't want it, I see. I'll buy it off you, I see. Because I love that sort of stuff. Um, it would be really nice to, because you see, I get, I don't get icy art really. Um, I have people walk around and they give me little pictures. They are, which they are all here. Everyone who has done a little drawing of me is here, is kept here. Cause I need to get a big frame of it and I absolutely love them. 
but I need to get a frame for it. I really want something like that. <laughs> I would love something like that. So, hello, buddy. How you doing? Long time this week? No, good to see you. It's good to see you, mate. Um, he owes, owes you four thrones. Wow. My IC art for sale in Dawn and Comics. The comic I'm working on is now called What the Goose Whispered. <laughs> That's epic. I like that a lot. Oh, well, I I hope I I hope you get something from it. Did the paintbrush have a ribbon, have an effect on it, or anything at all? I'm curious now. Uh, I'm just going to make sure my phone's on silent because last stream it wasn't. So yeah, it'll be. Uh, the artifacts I'm after are more the ones from the nation's founding rather than base magic items with Ilian thrown at them. Uh, it did have a ribbon and a number. No effect, though. Ah. Bring it to me. Because you can do... Oh, excellent. That's even better. Um, yeah, there's loads of stuff you can do on those items that give you, the, that it, that give you more of the history. Um, it'll give you like a visions and stuff like that as well. So um, I, I will happily point you at people um, with it. So more than happy to. Um, the, the art, yeah, I know the artifacts you're after. Um, yeah, there are. There's an artifact hunting guild, um, which is going to be very interesting to see what they, they do. And I know there's a lot of stuff coming into play as well. Um, I'll have to point the brushes only your way. I borrowed it, I see, for the painting. Uh, yes, yeah, definitely. Because if that's from Broccoli Land... Oh, they started the same time as you. Excellent. Uh, yeah, because if that's from Broccoli Land, then our hall has something from Broccoli Land as well. There's, there's loads of stuff going on. It's... I mean, the sounds of it, there, there seems to be a lot of talk or uh, things that PD need to bring in. So, see, people give me ribbons and, like, it's this. And I always forget within five minutes what it actually is, does. Yeah. Yeah, I... My favourite one was... Um, I think it was year, year one, right back at the beginning. And we went to the Black Plateau in spiral which is a very very cursed place i love it there it's absolutely wonderful place to fight if you get the chance um and everybody came back well say everybody like 80 percent of the people who fought there came back cursed unless you had picked up um a weapon off of some you'd looted a weapon off of someone so i'd looted this weapon didn't think of anything of it the play, uh, that would be a place I, uh, I want to find out more about. It seems so interesting. On the I love the Black Plateau. So, um, the Black Chateau is in the league, in the league now. <sighs> Someone needs to call themselves the Black Chateau, uh, Chateau. <sighs> See, I can't say it. Black Plateau, Black Chateau. Uh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, so Cernanos loved to fight there. It was a great place to go. Um, Mac was born there. Because it made sense. Because I just I really like that place, uh, so much. It's it's really good fun. Um, but yeah, finding out about that is really good. So yeah, so we had a little we had a fight there, and I took out one of the <laughs> Leagueish Cafe, the Black Gato. <sighs> I think this is a runner. Um, and yeah, so I came out with one of the weapons, and they're like, "Oh, you got that? Don't worry about it. Just read what the, uh, the what the what it does." As I said, oh, okay, yeah. So promptly walked away from the the skirmish, went back to camp, chilled for like twenty minutes, and then went off and did something else. Completely forgot about it. The refs had taken everyone's PID who had one of these weapons. There was like seven of them in the field. Um, and, uh, we had the, uh, the pleasure of me coming back to camp with a ref sat there waiting for me and going, 
have you done what the what you need to do? Like, say what? And it was literally he just said, "You've read the ribbon." Like, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. But like, yeah, that's why I'm here. So everybody who had gone had forgotten about the ribbon, and basically it just made me kick off. So you sat there at your own camp, and then all of a sudden, you were possessed, and it was it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun to do so uh, is this spiral league stuff find out in play because I keep hearing jokes and have no context um, the latest stuff is find out will be find out in play um, but yeah as Bolam said we're waiting everyone will be waiting on the uh, the winds of war fortune on and stuff so But, yeah, because I, th I think one of the things that does does um, does my Sweden is when you get bits of game that are seemingly taken away from you. Every time Dick and Harry has jokes about it, but we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, it's I mean, we're better off. Yeah, just wait for the winds and then see what happens um, from there. So, um, but yeah, it's, it, I, I find that it, it's when you find parts of the game that are seemingly just taken away from you for no reason. Um, and then you find out that more stuff is going on. Um, oh God, look at this beard. This is ridiculous now. It really is a tidy. Um, so I, I found that all of my stuff is has actually grown considerably and it was like going off to talk to the Axos about their drugs and then having and then I, like I got there and that queue I mean we got there 20 minutes early and the queue was from the forge all the way out to the road it was huge and I was just like I'm not waiting <laughs> That I'm just not waiting at all. But the funny thing was, is that they came back and um, the AXO uh, NPCs um, actually turned up at my camp looking for me. Because I didn't buy any drugs. So it's been, it is absolutely crazy. But I need to, I, I need to, ha I need to have a chat with them. So I've got you, something you can do with NPCs is that they do, some of them give you ways to contact them. So I've got um, a way to contact the Axos um, traders and then hopefully get a lot of stuff out of there because I think Steve, a drug kingpin, I'm shocked. I know so, I know mate. It's... Um, Super Ultra Combo 2023. I was just were curious about what that versus theme was in your name. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment with drugs in game, and I'm all here for it. It's a it's going to be a lot of fun because all of the talk and chat in the field, they it seemingly. A load of people have gone one way and the rest have gone the other. So there's gonna, I think there's going to be a bit of a, a coming together as well. And I know that there's uh, a dark uh, group of <laughs> people involved as well. There's uh, shadowy assassin types out, out there. So I'm looking forward to them coming to have a chat with me. Um... Need to see if the Axos traders will trade drugs for spooky art. Uh, they they're a very cultured people, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if they would. To be honest, I think they would offer a price for it. Um, uh, we've got um, we got a dose of their new stuff, and it was amazing. Which new stuff? 
because there are yeah there's so much of the new stuff um Oh, the bone dust. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many drugs in that field now. It's unbelievable. I've got low. I've got all... I've got at least five of each. Um, but yeah, bone dust is good. Anvil Assassins Guild. Never heard of it. Yeah. Fuck's sake. The Anvil Assassins Guild. Uh, the worst kept secret at Empire. They really are terrible. I think I think I was chatting to you, Matt, on stream about them the event after they got taken out when a literal a militiaman walked up to the pub that they were hiding in and um and just said uh, uh I'm I'm here looking for they literally took their sash off and just said, I'm here to find the Assassin's Guild and they went, Yeah, they're out back. And they all got arrested and executed. It was the most boneless thing in the world. It was great. Um, is all of our Anvil unionising? Yes, pretty much. There's a lot of unions in the field. Um, I'll come back. I'll touch on the unions again in a sec. My goal is to be able to pack away my IC camp uh, of one tent in its interior in less than the current five hours. Yeah, that's that's brutal. Um, we last event. Well, I I don't think I've had an event this year where I've been able to do things. Um, we've been able to do stuff properly, especially in our hall. So it's like E one. I missed out of because of the surgery. So I couldn't help do anything, set up or take down. Um, then E2, um, where we had the car window broken and we had the storm coming in, so we couldn't hang around. So we literally had to pack down and go before we were caught in the rain. That Otherwise that would have, yeah, the car, we had to make sure the car was home and completely sealed properly. So that was an odd one. And now we've got E3, where I'm, touch wood, fitter. We can actually do stuff. And we'll actually be able to get it all done. But five hours, man, that's, that's mental. I think the trick is on the Sunday, when you wake up, put your bed, take your bed down and pack a load of stuff inside your tent away. That's the trick. Start, make a start and then go from there. So not long until the Anvil Pinkertons then. They probably already exist. To be honest, it's probably tiny you spread. All the info about the assassins. That's a lesson for the lot of you. Be very careful what you tell Tiny. Yeah. Um, I have told Tiny a big lie. And, and seeing... Um, uh, and and seeing where it ended up, that was that was quite fun. Um, only feasible when the tent is somewhere between below a hundred degrees C. Oh yeah, that was that was brutal. So friendly advice to everybody is make sure you're hydrated. Uh, E three is I think it will be warm. Won't be as hot as the last one, but it will be warm. Um, even if it's raining, it will be warm. So it's just be sensible, stay hydrated, stay in the shade if you can. Um, come over to us if you are, if you're really struggling. <laughs> you got no sympathy then. Um, but yeah, if you're really struggling for hydration or anything like that come over and see us at uh, the rowdy raven and we can um yeah and we can help you out because everyone looks after everyone so if you need help come and ask um 
but yeah, Spunky, your your those two tents were just so hot. Um, even it, the weird one was is that I remember walking over to the IC tent and opening three doors and opening them because I knew that everyone would be melting, and people were going no 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 security let's and then closing them. It's just like. You want to melt, that's fine, but it was just, it was so silly. It was so silly. Um, there's a four post of bed, so that doesn't work. Uh, ten is a tea house used by lots in dawn. Yeah. Um... We will melt rich and unrobbed. Thank you. Um, leave your doors open. Make sure your stuff is in a box and the box is locked. That's it. Um, you'll be fine. But yeah, player safety, I think, comes first. Um, my goal is to uh, come visit the Rowdy Raven. Didn't step foot in the winter, uh, in the winter mark in Dawnfield. Considering you're right next to it as well, I think you could walk to us in less than five minutes. You're, we're literally a couple of minutes away from you, Matt. So, um, yeah, you should just shout. We'll, we'll bring you food and drinks. We'll come and ply you with uh, baked goods and a drink. We know where you are. I know where you are. I did have to, I have to admit, I did like uh, coming in and seeing you last event. And, yeah, didn't care what was going on. Just come and sneak, having a quick hug, <laughs> just sneak it. That was good. That was needed at that time. Fuck off. <laughs> Zara has done. I tell you what, Zara. You, I know you weren't at the event, but you have created a monster. You really have. Um, I had people coming up to us in the field and asking about the bog and bin. Um, so. Can confirm you lot properly saved me last event. We, we helped a lot of people last event. Um, and so, well, so you know you're always welcome. There you go. See, everyone calls it the bog and bin. It's the bog and bin. Everyone calls it the bog and bin. So it's kind of stuck. So, but I, 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 I do like it a lot. Um, if they let you out. But if they don't let you out then and you see any of us just shout and if you need any, if you want a bit of cake and a drink then we'll bring one up for you so you're always welcome um if you're early enough in the morning you might even have um i'm not saying the skipper e1 was thematic but it was yeah it was and it, it, it did add to it apart from at takedown when Matt and Hayden nearly took um, um, they nearly took bin bags to the face because people were just throwing it all the way over uh, and that could have caused a lot of damage but thankfully they'd moved it this time round uh, Bog and Bin does some tasty red wine and cake we do do I, yeah I <laughs> do do um, we do have um, wine in stock but we're going to have three flavours of two feet cider this event so you're going to have boar's piss which is a peach cider uh, you're going to have max left nut which is um, uh, elder no not elder summer fruits cider uh, Blue Jazz is coming up Thursday evening. That's awesome. You should come as well. Obviously. Um, yeah, come and sit down and chill. Come see us. Um, the bartenders better get a sample of the cider. I don't know. Our bartenders are a bit shit. I don't know. Um, so, uh, is one of our bartenders. Um, of course you are. I mean, you've got, um, you got fed with chilli last time. I'm pretty sure you got fed with chili last time. You're more than welcome. Um, three flavours. Apples. Mostly apples and maybe apples. So, yeah. Peach. Summer fruits. So, Boar's Pissed, which is peach. Uh, Max Left Nut, which is the summer fruits. And now we've got a third one. 
Um, I think we're looking at kiwi and elderflower. Um, so yeah, no, the names aren't helping get rid of the name Bog and Bin at all. They're, um, yeah, they're always just there, and it's a lot of fun. Um, peach cider, yeah, the peach cider. What has was the very first two feet cider. Um, I'd say it was the first proper large quantity homebrew in the field as well. So Justin and Kit made loads of it. So there was like 200 bottles of this in the field and it was going for a crown a pop. Um, then, um, yeah, people were buying it for a crown a pop. And then, and then going off and selling it on for four crowns a pop, which was weird. But the two feet didn't care. I don't know why that just jumped. I don't know what happened there. So, but yeah, peach cider was good. So yeah, kiwi and elderflower. But we haven't got a name for it yet. So uh, if anyone's got any suggestions uh, for a third name for a cider, then... Please say I'm looking at Zara mainly on this one because she comes she's she seems to have a knack bog water bog water could work it's all right bin juice oh. gangrene oh see I like gangrene <laughs> bin dregs bog juice I don't know if you can hear that noise. Um, wherever I live next to a school, um, they've opened up their hall to a martial arts uh, club. So some evenings, that's all we can hear. It's absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, that's good as well. See, I like the dregs. So... So it's obviously take, taken thing from everybody. The the dregs is good. We're genuinely not sure what it is, but it probably won't send you blind. That's good as well. Swamp slurp. The bottom of the barrel. That's nice. Swamp slurp. That's good too. Pain slosh. Pain slosh. Oh, I could just call it slosh. Pint of slosh, please. Some good ones. I like these. Um, oh, yeah, and our new moderator. Hello, Ryan. How are you doing? Um, peachy Kina. <laughs> Call it bite. And confuse the hell out of people and the militia. That sounds fun, actually. That does sound good. Yeah, the Farmer Giles as well. That was a nice one. I think we'll have to go around... Um, I think if I get any bottles made... Um, yeah, when we were playing... Uh, oh, the runoff. These are good, Zara. You're too talented for these... It's, yeah, these are really good names. Uh, we'll make you run in some form. Liquid bite. Yeah, I like bite. That does sound good. Um, but yeah, I had to mod Ryan because he was watching while we were playing um, Six Days in Fallujah. So, the drip tray. See, the drip tray would be a great name for a pub. I think that would be a great name for a pub. The drip tray. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, these are all good. The drain dribble. The drain dribble. Uh, says something where I'm the most responsible adult on offer. I know. The drip tray only serves fry ups. I think we had. Um, if I don't die with this character, I'll want to run an IC 
cafe called the Hungry Drowger. Mm. <laughs> Anvil's finest, just a bowl of mud. See, we are being, we are the going to be the only pub in the field that is going to sell sell mud. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so nice. It's like three thrones a bottle. Um, it is so good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have that, and I think I can't remember how much we're selling it uh, as a shop for, as well. We did fix all our prices as well, and we sold a lot more. Um, but yeah, I think if we get or uh, to go with the winter mark theme, bird spit. Yeah. But see, these are great. These are really good names. I mean. I think crow's piss. I mean, we got boar's piss as well. So, um, but I don't think we're buying in all of like the ales and lagers and that like we did last time. Club Seal. See, that's the name of a pub. That's a pub name. That is. That's a Suak pub. Um, that's really cool, but. You could have the piss range on tap. Boar's piss, Max piss, Bird's piss. Rind Raven. That works too. Boar's piss was the most popular when I attended the bar. Yeah, that was the Camden Ale. I'm pretty sure. It was nice. Uh, I don't know how much of it we got left. But the peach cider is going to be... Uh, a lot of people are, are happy that that's back in the field let's put it that way so yeah so there's a lot of stuff like that Camden Ale is good it is very nice um, I'm not too sure how much it costs though because I saw it in um, Costco and I think it worked out to be like um, uh, like a couple of quid a a can or something it turned turn out to be so quite expensive pubs are expensive to run at empire i wouldn't rec i don't really recommend it unless there's a big group of you doing it because if you're doing it on your own yeah the profits will be great and you'll be busy all the time but i think you'll be um you'll lose out um yeah the bottles of something I it was a pale ale i can't remember which one I still think calling it Rusty Ring could win. The Swampy Mattress. Yeah. I think there's a lot of ideas there. I think. So, but I'm curious now. It's like, Matt, how are you finding um, still doing the civil service? Are you enjoying it? Are you wanting to come back and play anytime soon? What are, what are your plans? I'm very interested. Um, need to get custom snacks next yeah anything like that I mean to be honest you could just go and buy a shitload of peanuts and I mean the jokes write themselves so um, yeah finger nuts you know stuff uh, yeah so we could put little bits of those in as well but then I think you'd just get people turning up who hadn't eaten but then again salted peanuts would probably help a lot of people out uh, as the day goes on, people who haven't looked after themselves properly. So there's there are definite things there. Uh, Nori crackers. Don't know what Nori crackers are. I'm afraid. But yeah, I think there's there's plenty to be going on with, and, and then you have swamp grass. I oh, yeah, seaweed. That would be good. Um, oh, little Japanese snacks. Oh, okay. It's, it's like, because I had a great... E2 for me was a great event. I, and I had a great time. And I just... Coming up to E3, I found that I was very... Oh, yeah. I, I feel like I, I'm... I get a bit disenchanted with it all. 
And I know it's my own brain weasels doing it, but um, I really love it. But I miss Empire feeling real. It's something you don't realise till you're in the field surrounded by lots of characters and I'm not 100% IC in my head. I'm doing lots of ref stuff too, so it's a balance. Yeah. As long as you're happy, mate, that's all that matters. Um, but I do look forward to you coming back IC, though, and, be, and actually playing. Uh, but yeah, I, I think... It's like like I said at the beginning, um, I I would love to be in Egregore. Now I think, I think that would be a lot of fun. I think it would suit me, because it's being there for the players. It's a lovely change, but I do plan on coming back. Yeah, I I I know. I I I don't. I couldn't see you staying there forever. I would. Yeah, I could. I could definitely see you. Yeah, I know you're coming back. You miss out on the uh, uh, on the grind of it, essentially. Would you be able to battle still? Yeah. Yeah, uh, but it'd be a very different sort of battling for me. But I would. I'd I'd find a way to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I would love. I think that would be my goal. As a player. To become egregore eventually and well one of the egregores and then be there to help out players and i would enjoy it i would enjoy it a lot i think and i, I think the players would enjoy having me there as an egregore as well one egregore to rule them all see yeah i i would um, my goal is a world free of paperwork yeah that too I think just being able to turn up yeah quite a few egregores have died on the battlefield yeah definitely I mean I know that as Mac I saved the Urizen egregore's life so which nation would Matt want to drop into as a new character have you had an opportunity to NPC in most of them now Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Bolan. Be quiet and go back to your your, your next meeting. Um, I hardly saw you last event. No, I think I saw you more in the battle. Uh, that was that was fun. So yeah, so Matt, are you still planning on going back to the Orcs, or are you planning on looking at a different nation? We go to the go to the league, go and join Andy. Um. I see Andy wandering around all the bloody time and it's the temptation to to shout and comment on the thighs is it's almost too real almost too much sometimes um, so I don't I leave them to it <laughs> uh, only had Orc and Marcher characters uh, as crew currently making some league kit for funsies uh, uh, that's excellent that's excellent I need to, oh, so yeah, um, I'm going to go back to, I'm going to touch on kit for a while, for a bit, because um, paperwork sounds fun to me, being a, shit, um, being a scriber or an archivist, uh, seems like you get so much plot and to know so many things, yeah, definitely, I think if you enjoy that part of the game, you would get a lot out of it, so I think like trading, if you enjoy numbers, then you'll get a lot out of the trading game because you will have everything written down. You'll know how much everything is and you can know who's got who's selling it for this price and who's selling it for that price. And then you can go from there. So I think if you're a, if you're a bit of a mathematician, then trader would be great. Um, and that or a scientist. I'm not looking at my wife here. Because the chat we had in the pub yesterday, she enjoys that part of the game, like getting everything planned and that. So I think that part of it is um, is good. So yeah, you you would find out a lot 
Uh, I know that's why a lot of people go to help out in the library because they get to read everything that's there and it gives them ideas for things to look at. Um, so, but yeah, when it comes to kit, I need to fix my kit. And unfortunately, not even in a, I need to just fix this little bit of it or this little bit of it. I need to, I need to fucking fix it all. Um, so, I've got, so where I'm doing, hey work, how you doing buddy? Um, so where I do, where I'm doing all the stuff for Epic Armoury, they are, and I'm going off there in, on the, to their gathering, we, we have to go in kit. And I'm turning up with, um, I, I'll show you a, Um, I'll show you a picture. Uh, well, I can tell you the name if I can find them. Do, do. So, for, if anyone's interested, um, someone who I'm going with is on... Uh, on Instagram, they are called um, Arens Vettervolk. Um, who are they followed by? Five Mutuals. No one who I follow, but I don't follow many people. Um, so yeah, Arens Vettervolk. So I'll show you a picture of their kit. So that. Ooh. There you go. That's a bit of their kit. Um, so they, I, I, I have to look on point. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Damn. Yeah, Arends Vettervolk. So, um, I, I've had a little chat with him already through Instagram about the gathering and that. Um. So it's going to be the kit that is there is going to be such a high standard. And then I'm going to turn up going, hi, what the fuck is this? So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I had uh, I had compliments on my kit during the battle last event as well. And um, it wasn't on anything I've done. <laughs> either it made me laugh so during the last event someone commented on the uh, design um on that has been drawn on my plate so that was done by ryan um chocomoka latte and then and someone commented on my tacits saying they had been done basically they're saying that it it brought the kit to get everything together and I was just like, oh, well, go and say thank you to Orcs Planet and to Ryan. Then. And then I cried. I didn't really. But um, but yeah, it was just very, it was just so funny. It was so funny. None of my kit was good enough. Everything anyone else has done for me, though. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> I, can't, I can't complain. Uh, is it de uh, definitely a must-wear pants event then? Yes. Yeah, um, I don't think I'd get away with not wearing underwear, but yeah, so that would be fun. Uh, are you the British representative? Well, me and Digby are going, and we have, we're both going to be in kit, because the whole evening, um... The whole event is going to be a, like a mini LARP, so you're there in character, and everyone, and then they've got the talks and stuff. Um, and I'm going to be, and I am streaming the whole thing as well, so it's going to be interesting um, because I have to figure out how to do all this from my phone. So I've got to stream everything from my phone because I'm going to be doing a lot of wandering about. 
So I think it's going to be fun, but I need to make my kit work. You and Dig yeah, it's already a terrible start. Um, with yeah, so as far as I'm aware, the only people going from Britain are me and Digby. So it's expensive. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 225 euro for the event um, so it's going to be it's expensive but you get lots of stuff out of it um, so I'm look I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like uh, and I think I've got uh, I, th I think Epic Armory are giving me a voucher for like 50% off or something. I don't know what the actual percentage is, but they're giving me a voucher for like money off of the ticket as well. So if anyone's interested in going, just let us know. Um, and I, I'll let you know what flights and hotel me and Digby are staying at. Um, so, uh, crafting goal, make plate from staples. Ah, oh, I've actually moved away from the stapler. Matt will be so proud of me. I have actually moved away from the stapler. And I've been trying to teach myself how to do stuff um, properly. It's disgusting behaviour, I know. Um, you do look boss in your battle gear. I, I try, I try, I try. I just look angry whenever I take the field. In the well, Every time I take the field, to be honest. Let's face it. Um, but yeah, I, I think it would be nice to... I'll, I'll have to do a crafting stream... And I'll get all of my bits that I want to put onto essentially a war skirt and then get people to help me because <laughs> I'm shit. Oh, we do need to do the chain mail. We really, really do need to do the chain mail. So for th those who don't know, Zara is um, one of our many... Um, Get in the bin talented uh, people in the hefty fan. I'm trying to find your um, unchained design. So this is um, unchained design. There you go. Go and find Zara on Instagram because she makes absolutely incredible stuff. Um, I bought, I buy a fair bit um, and I give it away as gifts when uh, we do things in the raffle. Holy fuck, that's lovely. Look at that. That's really nice. Sorry, but um, yeah, Zara has offered to uh, give me a lesson in how to do a little bit of chain mail as well so we'll do that and i'll fuck it royally um so that'll be fun but i need to get i need to do a crafting stream and get help from people and advice on what i can do uh um for the for that so sorry i was distracted but it i think it would be I think it'll be a lot of fun because I need it to work and then because I'm probably going to wear my kilt to the event in Copenhagen because it's going to be cooler temperature wise and I'll be able to then have that skirt on over the top of it just because it looks nice but I also need something for Empire too as well to go over the trousers that I the wear trousers I know shocking behaviour so but I need to do a lot of stuff like that. The only advice I could give is don't listen to my advice. I can't craft anything. Neither can I. <laughs> Neither can I. I'm crap at it. I'm absolutely terrible when it comes to crafting. I mean, this is, this is where the running jokes of all the staplers have come from and everything. So I, I think there's a lot of stuff there that I need to do. So I'll put out a thing and... 
um, and get people on to come and help me craft that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, I'll have to get Matt back on stream. It'd be nice to have a chat and that because those streams are always just so like super um, wholesome. They're really, really nice to do. So, yeah, so there is all of that. Um, I think I think we're coming to I think we're coming to an end, aren't we now? Really, I'm just I can I can feel how drained I am, and uh, but I'm a lot happier now. These sorts of things always cheer me up. You bastards! How dare you make me smile? Um, but I think. As an idea, I think we've got a lot of stuff to do. I mean, as the Hefty fan is on, we've got conduct team coming on at some point soon, so we can all sit down and and ask them questions, and everyone can learn about the rules for the bloody game, which it seemingly is a lot of people don't know. Um, so there is that. Um, the makeover that I was going to be doing has sort of fallen through. Um, there was a lot more questions that have come up. Um, because, um, yeah, there, there was just a lot of questions that were coming in the back and forth. Because it's, if I'm doing anything for the LGBTQ community, it's got to be done right. Um, and if there are questions, then I need to get through the questions first before it can be done because I'm not fucking this up. Um, I can give advice on Copenhagen. It's a lovely place to go. Yeah, I've always wanted to go. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to going and um, and seeing what it's like. There is a pub called uh, Blondie's there as well, which I'm, I'm looking forward to going to. Uh, there's also a Scottish bar there. And the TripAdvisor says... Um, it's not British, it's got nothing to do with it, and they said, uh, I turned away before I even walked into the pub. So it's like, so you don't know what it's like inside then. But, still. Uh, only thing I know about it is the Little Mermaid statue. Is that? I didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a few things there that I, uh, to go on with. Um, so conduct coming on to do all of that. Um, the other things too. Um, so yeah, the makeover stuff will probably be next year now. Um, even if I'm NPCing, even if I'm an egregore, even if that's all going on, I will still do all of this stuff. Um, because it, I think it just gives me a different perspective to the game, which I'm looking forward to. If PD decide to go, yeah, you can do that, or they'll turn around and go, really, you? Ah, no. Who knows? So there, there's going to be plenty. There's going to be plenty there. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. Um, Who's streaming at the moment? I followed a few more people now, so uh, got Mini Arcana playing Dredge. Um, got Dave from the Longest Johns. He's gone off and done his own thing now. So I don't know what do what do people fancy or do people are Digby streaming or as does anybody know someone who streams who might be streaming now who we don't know or do we go and find someone do we go and find a new person to uh, to go and raid should we find a new person find a larp crafter let's see well wow, let's put in Let's go LARP and have a look and see what's going on. Oh, um, okay, so they're, they're German. 
does me. That uh, it doesn't look like anyone's anyone's actually streaming now. Hunt a newbie. See if I can't find anyone like that, then let's let's go and find someone who's playing table to a tabletop game. Oh my god, one of them is just a chair. It's literally just a chair. That is the that's that's them. Uh Baby Sprout, Mr. Champ Flu. Oh, Curse of Strahd campaign, homebrewed. What do you think? I love chairs. I'm on one now. Yeah, I know. Mine. I need a new one. Um. Former on. Um, open D and D, Dragon Lance. Bonus action heroes. Oh, let's. Nat one. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, oh, this is taking ages. I'm so undecisive, indecisive. Someone make a decision for me. Um, I would go for the one of the chair, but I don't. Li I literally don't think they are actually there. Oh, I'm gonna go for this one. Let's see what they're like. Right, follow. So let's chuck them a follow. They've got 131 followers, so I think we'll I think we'll help them have a good evening. Um, with this, so hopefully they realise that we've done it. So let's let's go and I've forgotten their name already. Baby Sprout. There we go. They've got one person watching. Go and give them some love. Go and give them a great evening. And hopefully they know that we've done it. Um, and it will pick them up. And it doesn't become a something that they realise has happened at the end of the evening. Um, thank you everybody for watching. Me just ramble on. Um, thank you all for coming along to cheer me up. I've really needed it. Um, you'll take care of yourselves. You have a good evening. And um, see you all on Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.